I just landed after a 17 hour flight here in Kyoto, Japan. Just kidding, we're still here in Las Vegas. In fact, we're in the southwest part of town at this incredible estate designed by Peter Lick, the master photographer. So just picture this, a photographer is great at capturing raw, unedited images and create a still frame shot. Now imagine using that ability and putting that into a custom home design. This is it. Kyoto is the model built by Jewel Home, but designed solely by Peter Lick, the master photographer. And the concept of it is heavily influenced by Japanese culture. And that displays right here. There are two Zen gardens in this property. Now Zen gardens are a dry garden made up of gravel and stone, and it's to encourage meditation. And there are two of them here, so you'll feel very Zen living in a beautiful home like this. My name is Jonathan Chow with Las Vegas Sotheby's and I'm about to show you this incredible one-of-a-kind property. Let's go. Now that we're inside, I have to mention this eight inch solid core door. I mean, this even down to the handle is showcase of craftsmanship of this home. Handcrafted handle on every single door in this house. And take a second to just take in the natural light. This three-way hallway, all finished with oversized windows. In a place like Las Vegas where there's constant sunlight, this is perfect. We're walking on reclaimed wood floor, just has the, the, the touch that Peter Lick who's the photographer that designed this home, emphasizing being surrounded by nature and how important that is to his design concept. And this is sprawled throughout the entire home. This is a display case that I really love because I personally love the philosophy Wabi Sabi. If you haven't heard of it, it's a Japanese philosophy to embrace flaws and imperfection. And the Kintsugi technique they use to fix broken potteries with gold makes a perfect place to display these collections. And th this is also what the designer had in mind when he placed this display here. Have you ever seen a kitchen in the hallway? Well, some people call it a chef's kitchen, a butler pantry. This is only half of the kitchen in this home. This is the full kitchen. Look at this impressive space. Leathered finished countertops, induction stove, raw stone in the background. Even a space to display your prized possession art piece. Now where's the, where's the refrigerator you ask? Well take a wild guess. It's actually one of these. And of course you gotta finish it off with your Wolf espresso machine built in every morning. This is where you'll likely find me. Sometimes even in the middle of the day because I'm a two cover kind of guy. So remember I mentioned stacking doors different than pocket doors. A stacking door wouldn't open all the way up. It would still be kind of positioned at the last panel and takes up space for the in and out feel. This is a pocket door. Pocket door means you can push it all the way into the wall. It's gonna take some muscle though, guys. You gotta hopefully you've been taking your protein shakes. You see, now this is indoor outdoor living with no obstruction, no glass in the way. Pocket doors are the way to go, and that's typically seen inside custom homes. Now we're outside. Check out this living space. It's quiet. It's calm. This is not common in Vegas, right? Believe it or not, we're a stone toss away from Las Vegas Boulevard, the Strip. Less than 10 minutes, I can get to MGM and fist pump with my friends over, over Tiesto music, but this, you can retreat back to, or you can even bring your friends here and host parties, gatherings, sports events. Peter Lick had in mind. He wanted this type of oasis that's close enough to the action where it doesn't take you 40 minute drive to Summerlin behind the guard gates and having to drive another 20 minutes up the hill to your home. You're, you get off the freeway and just a couple of zigzags over, you're here at this tranquil lot that 
you won't be able to find anywhere in, within the next five mile radius. So I'm standing inside the 500 square feet detached casita. This is a full living headquarter. Okay, you have a full bath that's also accessible for anyone that's coming in from the pool. You have a kitchenette here and the pocket doors that can connect both the indoor and outdoor living space. Have you ever seen the world's most expensive blinds? It's this. So this gives you the privacy that you want if you don't want that full glass or wide open, but this will allow natural light and you know the wind, the rain, if that's what you're into. So this is a really nice touch and it's all over this house. Anything with a pocket door, they would have this, including the upstairs area and the primary bedroom. What I'm about to show you, it's probably never been seen before on any home here in Las Vegas. Okay, and this is the signature of Jewel Homes, which is the builder of these custom homes. Every one of them would have one, but there's only like, you know, less than 10 in the entire valley. Check out this 10 ton block of Italian marble, handpicked by Peter Lick himself, craned in and positioned here. So why this? The thought behind it is he wants to keep nature close by. The, the spirit, the heart, the soul of nature is nearby when you're around this piece of artwork, natural artwork. And if you put your hand on it, it's actually cold to the touch. So my idea would be to bring your finest wine, whiskey, any kind of drinks you want to taste and have it naturally chilled on this marble block or serve the freshest sushi you can find in the world and just clean this place really good and have it plattered and served to your guests. What would you do with something like this? Comment below, I wanna hear it. Then you have this wine cellar. It's lined by this beautiful, unfinished stone, temperature controlled, and you can store your Japanese whiskey here and then your exotic wine. This is the type of lifestyle people are looking for living in a place like this. They want it accessible, but they also want it impressive. So notice that this block of marble is so raw and unfinished with imperfection, but then the precision of getting this, this frameless glass to embrace this stone that it's, it, it takes precision craftsmanship to build something like this. And that's, what is valuable for a home like this is not a templated home. Everything is detailed and it's customized. Welcome to the primary bedroom. You'll notice that the same element in the, in the kitchen area where they had the oak plank ceiling is also resembled here. So most of the master or the primary bedroom, we don't call it master bedroom anymore, it's primary bedroom is just a white wall kind of square space. But this gives you that warmth. Imagine everything is white, but you added the wood touch, especially when it's a darker oak wood, it just transforms the space. And it really, your bed's right here, right? You open your eyes in the morning, you look up and it's nature embracing you, telling you to wake up, it's a beautiful day outside. It travels throughout the entire hallway that leads to the primary bath, which is a whole nother surprise. Check out this outdoor bathtub made of full carbon fiber, single piece that could fit maybe two adults, but I'd rather be by myself in here. And you can take in the Mojave Desert in the mountain view. Now, if you want to, you can close the shutters and have a little bit of privacy but again they want to create the indoor outdoor living where you just feel like you're a part of nature and in this specific area of homes you can tucked away here is a sauna room now of course the mosaic stone back backsplash for this shower is beautiful worth mentioning but how about you just be able to step in and go into a dry sauna after a long day of work, sweat out all that toxin and the energy that you need to reset your day. This is where you'll find me most of the time. Originally, this was a closet space that's just a giant room, probably like a studio apartment in New York that could rent for $10,000 a month. But 
The owner came in and added these additional cabinetry and this center island. And they were very specific to make sure that these addition matches the original designer's vision of this house. So they did a great job, I feel like. They, they added the color, the wood, and the minimalistic style to complement the house. It feels like it belongs here. It was originally here to begin with. An, a design element you should uh, always consider when you are thinking about getting furniture or you know fixtures for your home. When there's a lot of straight lines, add a bit of roundness to it. So check out this pendant light. The designer behind this, Peter Lick, originally from Melbourne, Australia, started this journey of photography when he was just eight years old and was gifted a brownie Kodak camera, you guys remember those? By his parents. And that's what set him off this journey of becoming a master photographer of nature landscape. And now he is building a collection of these regionally diverse real estate and now the mastermind behind Jewel Homes, which can be found here in Las Vegas. So this property, Kyoto, is being offered at 4.5 million. It's four bedrooms, six bath, and a four car garage. Now keep in mind, a property like this on this footprint, half an acre, is extremely hard to find here in Las Vegas. And especially one that's built with these type of finish, and it, this feels like it was just finished yesterday. The details, everything, the conditions of it, but this was finished build in 2020, believe it or not. Guys, I just wanna thank you for following me through all of these tours that I've done, subscribing to my channel and being patient with me as I kind of master my craft of, of giving introductions to homes here in Las Vegas. Just wanted to say thank you and I look forward to sharing more of these contents with you in the future.